Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to discuss the new MacBook, the one Apple announced last month during their Spring Forward Media event and released last week. I've been using it almost exclusively since then, save the times I've needed to edit, so let's go over its performance and real-world applications. <laughs> Now to start, the winner of my iPhone 6 giveaway will actually be announced in my next video. And if you want a new giveaway, planning on an Apple Watch, be sure to rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section letting me know your thoughts on this new MacBook. So now, let's get started. When Apple announced the new MacBook, its killer feature was undoubtedly its new design. It's gorgeous, no one can argue with that. But it's not without sacrifice. The machine is not only Apple's thinnest and lightest laptop yet, measuring in at just 0.52 inches at its thickest point and weighing a mere 2.03 pounds, but it also features the best retina display they've ever manufactured for a laptop, which is 12 inches measuring diagonally. Apparently they've quote, redesigned the pixels to create a larger aperture, allowing more light to pass through, which in turn leads to LED backlighting that's 30% more efficient than any other notebook level retina display Apple has made to date. However, even with their impressive achievements, that's not to say it's the thinnest and lightest laptop in the world, but we're not talking about other machines in this video, strictly the new MacBook. If there's one word I could use to to describe this device, it would be innovation. The new MacBook is cram-packed with incredible improvements and revisions to existing technologies, and in most cases, the design is simply ahead of the hardware. It's tricky, because I want to love this laptop so much, from its amazing display to its force-touch trackpad that doesn't actually click down, but instead is simply a glass surface with a pressure sensor and the company's self-branded Taptic Engine, which is basically an electromagnet, underneath that's able to determine how hard you're clicking and reply with the corresponding feedback. It's really cool and mimics a regular click a trackpad would make perfectly. The keyboard even uses a new Apple designed butterfly mechanism for a 40% thinner key assembly resulting in an infinitely thinner keyboard to accommodate the razor thin design. And each key is lit with an individual LED to allow for the perfect amount of keyboard lighting. That's not to say the keyboard isn't weird to type on though. At first it feels shallow and takes some time to get used to it, but once you are, typing will quickly become fluid. Now due to the small power efficient Intel Core M CPU behind this new MacBook, its logic board is tiny. So small in fact that it dwarfs that of the 11 inch MacBook Air, seeing as it's 67% smaller than the logic board of a computer whose screen is one inch smaller, making the new MacBook more Air-esque than even the Air itself. While all of that and more equates to a beautifully designed machine, that's all you'll receive, a beautifully designed machine. The design is so far ahead of the current processor and GPUs that it's not able to do much more than web browsing, typing, airplay mirroring, which it handles surprisingly well with only minor hiccups in select instances, simple photo editing, and just maybe basic games. Overall though, everyday tasks are a breeze. But wait, let's back up a second. Gaming? With a rather sad Geekbench score of 551, which is a numeric representation of a computer's capabilities based on a cumulative assessment of its specs, can it game? Eh kind of, but mostly no. While it can hold its own when playing minor games such as Hearthstone, if you try to kick it up a notch and play anything where your character physically moves across the display, you'll experience some lag. For instance, in Heroes of the Storm, when you approach more graphic intensive encounters, the frames per second will dip extremely low. Interestingly though, and kind of expected, the CPU doesn't get too taxed, indicating that it's lacking in the graphics department with its integrated Intel 5300 GPU. And unsurprisingly, upon attempting to install Hearthstone for the first time, I actually received this warning message about the processor, not the graphics hardware, possibly being insufficient. Furthermore, when playing any game for too long, things tend to get a little weird, and the experience will stutter. And don't even get me started on video editing. I'd have a hard time even trying to edit this video in 720p on it, let alone the 4K quality it's uploaded in. Overall, if you don't game or video edit and you want an extremely portable laptop with a fantastic design, I definitely recommend getting the new MacBook over other MacBooks. Again, it's ahead of its time with all 
all of the innovations Apple has crammed into this tiny form factor. But as always, time will catch up. And eventually, when we can have a more substantial CPU and possibly even a dedicated GPU, this will be the future of all laptops, not just Apple's MacBooks. There's a lot it does right, and there's a lot to enjoy, such as the blazing fast flash memory, which allows for truly incredible boot times, and its fanless design. It's the first fanless MacBook, enabling it to be completely silent. But there's also a lot of room for improvement performance-wise. Also, did I mention that it only has one USB Type-C port for charging and data transfer? Now, if you don't connect to peripherals often, you should be fine. But seriously, no MagSafe? Definitely err on the side of caution when walking near this thing while it's plugged in, as a possible trip over the cable doesn't necessarily translate into the cable coming unplugged without the MacBook falling. Finally, while I do love the feel and overall shockingly thin and light form factor, I just can't really justify this laptop personally. But what are your thoughts? Let me know down below in the comment section. Don't forget to stay tuned for my upcoming Apple Watch giveaway and the announcement of the iPhone 6 giveaway winner. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I create videos similar to this one or covering other Apple products, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.